G-bolt here and I'm trying on some new things. First I've got a nice Bluetooth operator here. It snaps pictures and starts the video remote so looking forward to trying that to see what that offers. I also ended up putting a uh, little sponge wind cover DIY onto my headsets to cut wind in the future and I'm trying to give that a try to see how that audio works. Um, I don't like this look but it's the only look you're going to really be able to do on the trail. So that's what I'm going for. On top of that I've got some other hacks I'm trying, uh, green screen and other effects that I'm going to be looking at. I'm very interested in decreasing the risk on the trail. Now most people fear bear encounters or running across bears. However, the major threat on the AT, I believe, is a lot, lot smaller than a bear. That is Lyme disease that comes from ticks. In order to protect myself and minimize that risk, after watching Bearded Servant do his video on Insect Shield, I decided to go ahead and do the same thing. It is somewhat expensive at $70 for eight articles of clothing, and you can do it yourself. And I have done other items with permethrin spray. I'll spray my hammock and I'll spray the pack and a lot of the other items that I'll be carrying with me. But as far as clothing, I figured the easiest and simplest way was to impregnate those with the insect shield. He did a great video, so I'm not going to try and mimic his video. I'm just going to quickly show again for those that may not know his site and are only members of mine what this insect shield is. Now, if you're interested in getting your clothing treated with permethrin through the company, it's a pretty simple process and they make it real easy for you. Great website. So just go to your browser, search insect shield Make sure you get the actual website and then go to their web page. It's a pretty good website. Click down at the bottom. You can investigate yourself. And I did read some of the outdoors information that talks specifically about Lyme and ticks. However, if you want to just go to where you get your clothing treated, Go to the column that says IS your clothes and click on it. It pulls you up to this page, Insect Shield page. And you can see over on the side, singles, easy packs, gift certificates, or right here is also easy packs. Click either one, it'll take you to the next page. And then you can see it's loading a YouTube video. And that basically will take you through and explain the process. When I saw the 70 launderings and figured out how long I was going to be on the trail, that's what sold me to go ahead and do this. You can see the price for $69.95. And what that video would direct you to do is to go over here and enter your order. Easy 1, Easy 2 is more clothing options. And uh, I really didn't need beyond the 8 items. The eight items worked out great for me. And then you just go quantity, which is one packet. And then you have to check off the disclaimers. And then you add to your cart. And then it takes you through the process of ordering it. And I believe I did use PayPal. I use PayPal for most everything. But if not, it's a credit card. Just like any online order. And then what happens is three to five business days later, and it's a pretty good, I think I received mine in three, you'll get an uh, envelope with all the rest of the information in the next step. It's always exciting when you get mail, even when you've already prepaid for it all. 
Comes in a nice cardboard envelope. Easy open, even though it took me some time. And then inside you'll basically find two things. Your invoice, three pages. And then behind that is the paper priority mail packaging to send your clothing back to Insect Shield to be treated. Again, the most important document is the Easy Packs document that will list the items. It's sort of like the return packing slip. The yeah, envelope is pretty durable. I've got my eight articles of clothing selected. Going to start with my Columbia Silver Ridge zip off pants. They're the largest ball kiss item that I have. Then I'm going to send my shorts, leggings, my Thermarest hoodie, which I almost decided not to, and then my green tech t-shirt. The sleeves I contacted them about one pair equals one item, just like the socks. Even though there are two socks, four total, there's two pairs, counts as one item each. So there was my eight items. Filled out the packing slip that included those eight items. It's all in the envelope, ready to seal. Now the envelope does come with a from return label, but I didn't use it, didn't write on it. I just trusted that that's all that was necessary and the only address was the one returning it attention to Insect Shield. Took it to the post office. Again, no hassles there. They took it. It's all prepaid. And the only reason I went in was to make sure I got a, a, a receipt to show that I did ship it off. Three to five days to get to them. And then they do their magic, which they state takes three to five days. And then hopefully they'll ship it back to me for a total of 15 days, 21 days beginning to end. Hopefully this is going to help me on my hike, keep me safe from beginning to end. Some would say it's not worth it. I would beg to disagree.